Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to quickly talk about HTML DOM. Okay. So, HTML DOM stands for Hypertext Markup Language Document Object Model. Okay. So, before we go into a little bit more detail, let's briefly talk about the architecture and the workflow of how an application gets loaded down to a browser okay so let's let's say this is our browser right this is our browser window and at the top let's say for example i type www.seleniumframework.com right um, and as soon as i hit the website in the url what happens let's say you know seleniumframework.com is you know the server exists somewhere out there in the internet and as soon as I hit the web website and hit enter what happens is the server responds back with data packets okay so it sends all the content back to the web page and <clears throat> we can call this as data packets okay and what happens at that time this is where you know the menu for example if you hit the website seleniumframework.com you would find home you would find um, you know menu you would find tutorial so on and so forth right so each of these elements start getting loaded into the browser of course there are other um, um, resources or artifacts is the term given which gets loaded into the browser for example javascript resources right But anyway, for this uh, tutorial, uh, we needn't go into the details of what JavaScript is. But anyway, coming back to the point, so the menu is loaded and then the home page is loaded, right? On the home page, you will find lots of links and then you'll find text, you will find buttons, right? Images and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's, th this, is, this is generally what happens whenever you hit a website. Now, um, let, let's say let's say I'll go ahead and hit seleniumframework.com. Okay, so if I hit seleniumframework.com, it the request goes to the server. The server responds back with the content. Now, um, so where does the HTML DOM come into picture? Let's say for example, you know I right click on any element and say inspect element. Right. On the Chrome browser, you can just right click and say inspect element, and you can see that this element, right, set up in first strip is an anchor, which means it is a link. Now, each, each of these elements like this has a HTML markup defined in the background. So let's say if I look at the entire source, right, if I click view source, you can see that every page, every web page which gets rendered onto a browser starts with an HTML tag. Okay, and then it has a bunch of other tags. Head stands for header, and then uh, the elements, right? The elements got, starts getting loaded here. Okay, um, so why is this important for us? The reason why it is important for us is because every element who, which we want to interact with, let's say register, right? If we look at register, what does it say? It is an anchor. It is a. It has some class, and so on and so forth. Let's investigate um, this element a little bit more. So we are calling it A. A stands for an anchor. Now every tag, you know, starts with uh, a left angular brace and then it closes, right? And then there is a value. In this case, the value is register and then there is a closing tag. The closing tag is always less than slash and then the tag name. Now here, the A is called the tag name. Okay, and we have a bunch of attributes, right? What are attributes? So class equal to, you know, there is a value here uh, enclosed in double quotes. Then we have href is equal to some value. These are called attributes of the element. Okay, and this one which appears in between the tag opening and closing of the tag is called the value. So let's look at another example. Let's say I want to um, see about, right? So I right click about and say inspect element. 
right what is it it is an anchor it has an hf right and under that there is another child element span and it has a value above okay so if we go back to our diagram right what is exactly happening each element let's say um, you know link for example how does it get represented well ultimately there would be an html right every document gets loaded and there is an head right and then there will be a closing tag of course for html right and then there will be a closing tag for head if there is and in between right a link for example anchor and then it has href is equal to some you know http slash slash blah 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 okay and then it closes and then there is a value for it let's say about and then there is a closing tag for it so the thinking what you would have to adopt here while writing um, any web browser automation is you know think about you would look at the web page and you look at links text buttons text boxes and so on but it is good to see uh, from the ui when we write scripts you would have to think in terms of the dom which is nothing but you have to think in terms of this tags so when i say well click on the home link instantly your mind should think about okay what is home link in the background it is an anchor it has an href it has a value called home and then it closes okay so once again i'll repeat it whenever you find an element right an element could be a link button text what you would need to think behind is you have to think behind the element and think about what its tag value could be because this will be ultimately helpful for us while writing the selenium scripts okay um, we will get into more details um, when we start writing the scripts how this is useful and what part of the tag we will use okay so this completes um, a brief understanding of html dom document object model thank you very much